Um, I'd just like to say a few words before we welcome the Lord Mayor and Mayoress to officially open the relaunch of our project. Um, welcome to all of you. Um, on behalf of the WEA team, can I thank you all for coming to join us today and also thank those of you who are watching us online. We're actually beaming this to the World Wide Web. Um, and uh, you're very hardy. We're very grateful that you've made it through the Easter snow and the ice to join us today. Um, we're very proud and grateful to be launching the second phase of our community health education in Stoke-on-Trent project. We have a lot of people to thank, and there isn't time to thank all of you individually, but it's a good time to reflect on what our hopes are for the next five years. Uh, by the way, my name's Claire, <laughs> and uh, I'm the project manager at the WEA, um, and I think you, you'll see the rest of the team. They've all disappeared making tea, but if the rest of you can give us a wave... <laughs> we have Sam, who's the fitness tutor. We have Andrew as a tutor support worker. And lots of you learners, everyone give us a wave. Just prove you can all hear me at the back. Brilliant. <laughs> Great. And we have some partners as well. Give us a wave. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, and there's Janet. Janet, give us a wave. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, right. It's a very difficult time for everyone in our city at the moment and it's a long and challenging process to develop a successful bid to the Big Lottery Reaching Communities programme. What we'd like to do today is thank their team for all their help with the first phase of our project and throughout the bid, the bid process for the second phase. We'd also like to thank the Skills Funding Agency who are our core funders and NHS Stoke-on-Trent and Stoke-on-Trent City Council who provided funding at many stages of our early development. Um, them and many other partners have helped us in lots and lots of other different ways um, such as hosting us and supporting us um, in more ways than just money. We're very grateful to all our partners who form an amazing ecosystem in the city there are a few places where you will work with so many committed, dedicated people as Stoke-on-Trent. Um, we would like to extend an offer of help to any other community groups who are thinking of applying for funding. It is hard, but it's very worthwhile, and the Big Lottery are encouraging more bids from Stoke-on-Trent at the moment. We never would have been successful in our bids if it wasn't for the debates, ideas and feedback that all of our learners, all of you, and lots more people, and our partners gave us at every step. We would like to thank you, all of you for inspiring the direction that we took. And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what we plan to do. Um, you told us how vital it was that we keep the project going, of the life-changing improvements that you made while coming to our fitness classes, and in many cases you were doing a lot more besides as well. We collected many stories of health improvements and how important the social benefits of the project were. We knew that over the five years we'd been working in the city, we had an excellent foundation to reach even more people. We didn't just want to keep going after new learners because your loyalty and enthusiasm for the project was one of the most important features of the CHEST project so far. So with your help, we've developed a network of CHEST clubs which will support existing learners and new ones to continue accessing exercise and learning, where, whatever, and, and learning whatever you feel is most important at the moment. These meet across Stoke-on-Trent and they all have slightly different characters, just like the towns and villages of Stoke. What they have in common is that they are friendly to newcomers and they are a great social link for their committed long-term members. They will shift and change a bit, especially if venues close, but we'll try and make sure learners can easily move across to other clubs if that happens. We'll also be offering a range of supplementary courses for new and advanced learners to improve all the key skills that we need today to navigate health and social services and the city itself. Our project will play a small part in the wider health objectives of the city. Over the last two years, 
the concepts of people-powered change, as the Big Lottery calls it, became increasingly important as a national concept. Stoke-on-Trent's head of health improvements, Zafir Iqbal, described something similar when he called for a social movement for health. What this means is that interventions by the health services and other government services are really important, but they, we won't make big progress on big city killers like cancer and heart disease unless everybody in the community gets involved. Medical evidence shows that one of the best things we can do to prevent early killers is simply to exercise regularly. Modern life and Stokes infrastructure don't always make that very easy unless it can be weaved into everyday life and we can all support each other. The WEA is a learning movement which has been in Stoke-on-Trent since 1908. We've always blended our mission to learn with activities that will be accessible. And we're continuing to do this, for example, by finding more ways for people in work to access our programmes. Although we might be talking about serious overall objectives, which, by the way, are all at the back, and we'd like your ideas on how to get to them, um, we strongly believe that what we, what we do must be fun, because fun keeps us young, as you can tell by me. I'm 45. <laughs> so that, in brief, is what we plan to achieve with CHEST. And I'm ha uh, all the team will be happy to answer any more questions. And do have a look at the tree at the back, because that's where we've got a little overview, and we're going to ask for your ideas. Um, it's going to be an independent social movement for people to stay healthy and keep learning throughout their lives. Tonight, sorry, today, tonight, today is a chance to be thankful and enjoy each other's company, but also to dream and plan. What do we want our cities to be like? What do we want our city to be like in five years? How, how do we want to get there? What are the barriers and worries that we need to address if we're going to be successful in the project? So. Before we get on to um, the Lord Mayor and lunch, I'd like to finish by thanking all of our volunteers and colleagues of the WEA, in particular in Stoke and Birmingham, but also nationally. Um, it would be unfair to pick anyone out for special mentions, and I'd bore you for too long if I talked about everyone's contributions. So just thank you very much for all that you do every day.